Ciao. Okay. Going to learn something called the substitution method. All right. Well, what that means is we can solve for one variable and then substitute into the other one. So if I'm looking at this, um, I would have to do a couple things to get a variable here by itself. But up here, I would just need to subtract 2x to uh, get one variable by itself. So what I'm going to do is take 2x plus y and equal 6. I'm going to subtract 2x on both sides. Now I've isolated a variable. Now, why did I put negative 2x plus 6 rather than 6 minus 2x? Personal preference. You can do it however you want. So now I'm going to take this and substitute it in right here. Do you see this? So I'm putting y, I could put negative 2x plus 6. So if I take 3x plus 2 parentheses, negative 2x plus 6, that has to equal 8. Okay? And then I do Mr. Distributive Property. Okay? 3x, 2 times negative 2 is negative 4x plus 12 equals 8. Let's combine these like terms. So that's negative x plus 12 equals 8. Subtract 12 on both sides. Negative x equals negative 4. And again, how do we get rid of this negative x? This negative, see it's really an invisible negative 1. I like multiplying by negative 1. You could divide by negative 1. It makes no difference to me. Whoa. Oh, the bell threw me off. Anyhow, negative 1 times negative x is x equals 4. Now, that is the x value. I can come back up here to either equation. This one looks a little easier. So I'm going to take 2 times 4 plus y equals 6. 2 times 4 is 8 plus y equals 6. I subtract 8 on both sides. y is equal to negative 2. So the ordered pair for negative 2 will satisfy each of these equations. How do we know? Well, let's check it. Let's come up here. 2 times 4 plus a negative 2. Does it equal 6? Well, that's 8 minus 2 equals 6. Yep. And then right here, 3 times 4 plus 2 times negative 2 equals 8. 12 minus 4 does that equal 8. It does. It works. That is how you use the substitution method. Arrivederci.